just letting you guys know that I am bidding on a rifle on Trade Me, so that video is yet to come. Uh, the auction closes next week, and hopefully I'll win it. And then I've got to go collect it. It's in Coromandel, so I might make another road trip to Coromandel and do another video about that. And welcome back to my channel. I've been an outdoors person for quite a long time now. And as you know, this channel is called Self-Reliance Life New Zealand. And I think the word self-reliance goes past beyond just gardening, hunting, and fishing. I think it's also a mindset as well. When you think about self-reliance, it is you just doing things by yourself. So for me, I like to just DIY everything I do, just do it myself or learn how to do it. If there's, um, if there's something that I'm not sure, I find out and I do it myself. Unless it's, it really needs an expert like a mechanic or um, electrician, anything like that, I get the expert to come and do it. You also learn not to be wasteful. So you reuse, you fix things up, and you just keep reusing those things over and over until it's completely broken down and then you go get a new one. I haven't had a full-time job for over more than five years now. I am self-employed and I do a few things to create income. Just a little bit of pocket money. Now and then I do a little bit of lawn mowing. I've just only got a handful of customers. I don't want to make it any bigger because it is quite a tiring job when you're mowing lawns all day. Another thing that I do is I'm a background talent, which means that if there's a scene on TV, your favourite TV program or even a movie, and they need people walking up and down the street in the background or sing, sitting down in the cafe, that's when I come in. I just fill in the gaps for the cameras. Most of the time I'm just a blur in the background or I even get cut in the end. But it's just an easy job. You just sit around, wait around, eat good food, and get paid for it. The third thing that I do to make a little bit of money is I invest in the share market. I'm not one of those big massive investors which invest thousands or tens of thousands of dollars into it. Um, I'm, I'm a small investor so now and then I'll make a couple of dollars or even if I get lucky I make hundreds of dollars. A um, couple of months I have made thousand, a thousand dollars from the share market and, but I also made some loss as well. So it's always up and down, but um, because we've got this new website called Sharesies, which has been great. The fees is really low. You can invest as little as you want or as much as you want, and they won't charge you a whole lot of money to, um, to buy shares and sell shares. Uh, it's a little bit confusing for some people, but if you want to get into it, just check out the Sharesies um, web page and basically you just buy it, try to buy shares when it's low and sell it when it's high and that's how you make a profit. Fourth thing that I do is I run a martial art club. So I have a small club that I run from home in my double garage. It's got mats out and all equipments out and I've got about 25 
I can't remember the numbers, between 25 to 30 members at the moment and they pay a monthly fee and that goes towards some of the equipment and the gears and the power and some of the profit money just comes towards me for my time and effort to run the club and give them a professional service in a safe, friendly environment. So before I did all of this, I used to be a cabinet maker, I used to be a coach builder, I used to work in the trade, um, used to work as an engineering apprenticeship, um, but I wasn't very happy. So I quit that and then just found my way around and just tried to do the best thing to do to survive and that's how I became to get all these extra, um, extra money here and there, scuffing around, hustling and all those kind of things. But it's worked well. As you can see, I can afford to buy toys, ute, boats, motorbikes, um, guns, bows, you know. So I'm not suffering in any way just because I don't have a full-time job. I do work, but I work on my own term and I'm pretty much my own boss.